It's live. Oh, hello. You're live. Welcome, Let's everybody, to our live stream. The last one we did was October. Oh, my gosh. Are you serious? So wow. we're doing wild. this. Who framed this? You. You're moving that doesn't change the framing. I, okay. I anyway. What's wrong with the framing? That makes it worse. It's like <laughs> you're off center, and I'm like, there's all this empty space over here. Well, you know, put something cool there. Okay. I'm, I'm I think it's fine. Cool. So welcome to the live stream. This is where we answer questions and possibly entertain you, let you know things that are going on and mm -hmm. whatever it is we do here on occasion. What's your name? My name is Matt. This is my beautiful wife slash co-host of this live stream and only this live stream. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is Lindsay. Mm -hmm. Happy Friday. Okay. I hope everyone had a lovely Christmas, holidays. Hope you're planning on a nice new year. Mm-hmm. What else do you want to congratulate us for? Just making it through, you know? <laughs> Just still being here. Yeah. Making it around the sun again. I know. 2023. It's going to be 2024. Oh. You did it. I did it. Where are you going now? I got to fix this. Okay. The, the framing is fine. You're... I bet you that's better. I bet you I... I guarantee that's better. No. Oh, that's way better. <laughs> okay. No, it's a little too far that way. But Yeah, look at that. That's okay. Okay. All right, so tell us, it's been since October, so what have you been doing? I've been working on this house. Mm -hmm. Tell me more about this house. I've never heard of said house. It's kind of a pain in the butt. <laughs> yeah, that's what I've heard. It's kind of a big project. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's... that's all you have to say? No, I don't know, man. It's my whole life right now. I feel like that's all I do, so yes. I prefer to maybe not talk about it. That's how I felt like it for a long time because I would get, I didn't want to talk about it because I get upset about it, which is also why we didn't do lives for a long time because I was like, I don't want to do live because I want to talk about how the house isn't done yet oh. and it makes me upset and I will get more upset <laughs> and it's still not done. Well, you know, I'm living it. So what are you working on now? The like huge appliance garage, correct? I built that. That's so done. I sprayed it out yesterday. Okay. Is there a so door? The door is right there. That's the door? Okay. That's the door. Oh, cool. Sounds like someone's racing. Yeah. It's weird. Right. Street racing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I built that giant cabinet. Yeah. So that, uh, and the fridge surround, those are both in the barn. I sprayed them yesterday. Mm -hmm. I like to let them cure for about a week. So the paint's, you know, fully cured hard enough. So I don't like worry about scratching it too much. Yep. Then those can get set. So Next Friday, I can set those two, and that'll be the bookends right. of the kitchen, the main row of cabinets. So then what are you making next? You're making the island next, or are you going to make the top? I'm doing pantry. Why? I mean, why? It also gets done. I, I want... mean, why in that order? I assumed you are going to make the island, or is the island last? The island is the least of my concerns. Okay, because why? for the countertop, it's a rectangle. Oh, okay. So basically, as soon as I get the pantry in... Oh, then they... I can schedule my countertop here. Okay, that's why. Okay, cool. I'm like, they would probably prefer the island to be there. Yes. But I'm sure they're not going to show up the next day anyway. So I'm like, if they do, though, it's a rectangle. Right. It's the least of my concerns as far as countertops go. Okay, okay. So it doesn't, it's, it doesn't go into anything. Right. Because it's just free-floating in space. I guess, and you might just have to make it around what they cut. Well, I don't know why they would make it some weird size. Uh, I don't know time. either. I don't work at cabinet. I mean, uh, countertop world. So, countertop do I know? World. Yeah, that's great. What do I'm I sure know? sure they appreciate that countertop world. Well, why don't you tell the world about the fact that uh, we still don't have a fridge now because after waiting two years to buy our fridge, it we bought it. It was 22 months, all right? Okay. Cut, cut them some slack. 22 months for this fridge. They sent us the wrong one. They ordered us the wrong one. So therefore, we received the wrong one. Yes, life. yes. So that was fun. I found that out while building the, fountain, the fridge surround. We're like, that's not our fridge. They actually sent us one that's nicer, but I don't want it because it's wrong. It's not nicer in the way that we like. Yeah, it's not. It, allegedly, it's more expensive, but yeah, because it got drawers. We don't. I don't want drawers. Like we <laughs> organized everything in a way that it would be one full fridge, and then in the island. I have pull-out drawers for like a freezer, and this one instead is like all fridge with a pull-out of pull-out drawers for fridges. And I was like, no, I don't like that. So, yeah, there's that. 
Yeah. So who knows? They're like, well, you get it in six months, which I'm like, I don't believe you because you told us that two years ago. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm really worried, honestly. Slash, I don't say sad or frustrated, but both of those things too. So all the things. Yeah. So there's that. Mm-hmm. But this is a great question from Bill. Uh-huh. Will Lindsay get her new kitchen before Mother's Day 2024? We don't know. What do you think? God, I hope so. He did tell me I would have it before Thanksgiving of this year. And uh, no. no. It doesn't even look like he did anything on it since the last time he said that. In part because he I did the hasn't. summer. I had to be the summer. I know. That's what I'm saying. In part because you haven't. I love this. You all need to go snowmobiling and relax. Yeah. I, sure. I want snow. Yeah. Also, we don't have snow here. It's super weird. I can go snowmobiling in the mud. It's December and we have mud. I don't think you can, though. I think it would ruin your snowmobile, right? That was sarcasm. No, but I mean, like, in real life, for real. You would, right? I mean, it's definitely not good for it. Okay. That was just a real question for me. Yeah, I mean, you can do it. I don't know how long you could do it for. <laughs> Until you're like, But you can do done. it. <laughs> and it would be bumpy. Hey, what are you eating? Do you want a stick? Okay. Cool. She just, like, had to destroy something. So she decided to destroy the stick. I think she's related to our children. <laughs> Must destroy something. I guess she's doing. She's just tearing it up. Yeah. I know what she's talking about. Um, Lindsay, is Matt a picky eater or just have a super metabolism? How does he stay so thin? What's the answer? What? I don't know. That's okay. His genes. Genes? I don't know. I think he doesn't... He eats food. I would say he eats a fair amount of food. And not even only healthy food. He eats unhealthy food, too. Is she still there or did she run back? She ran away. Oh, okay. Oh, I just came down to say that um, someone forgot their clip. So, Kevin, if you're watching this, your daughter forgot her clip. It's at our house. We'll get it back to you. I always just found it. Um, in any case, continue. I eat food. It's delicious. I don't know. like. <laughs> <laughs> he does eat food. I know we're going with this I feel one. like he does probably have a good metabolism, but also he's only 36. So, I don't know. I'm oh, sorry. I'm only 36, huh? You're basically a baby. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, I was a baby at one point. Yeah, now, right now. And I'm an old man guy. Oh, okay, let's, yeah. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I was 20 something. You were 20 something. At yes, one point in my life, I was a 20 something. Uh, from Chris, your sunroom is beautiful. Thank you. It was it is. quite a lot of work. I'm excited. We put some furniture just like to put in, like it won't be the forever furniture. And it's nice to like use it and I don't know, I love it. I like sitting there in the morning and reading and drinking matcha and just relaxing. It's nice. I'll probably sit there tonight. Good. You better. <laughs> you better sit there. <laughs> like you better sit there all of it. Yeah, use that yeah. room. Yeah. I actually like it a lot. It's very bright. It's like exactly I think what we wanted. Yeah. Like light. Yes. And bright. Well what's also nice is so the kids had friends over today and so they were sitting outside they were outside playing on the swing and like you could sit in the sunroom and see them perfectly on the swing and i didn't have to worry being like okay is anything crazy yet? they're older so you don't really have to watch them like a hawk the whole time but it was nice to be like oh yeah one two three you know counting to be like are all the kids around there and then we could tell when they started running in because we're like oh they're coming because they started running towards mm-hmm. the door so it was nice i mm-hmm. made that yeah for you, did, you you did a good job you're welcome yeah oh this is kevin aria got 10 hair clips for christmas so i think we'll make without okay good eloise is very concerned though so. <laughs> Um, from Jack question. Do you think you'll ever come across a flamed maple log? What is that? That's just curly maple. So you have curly maple. Yes. Um, yeah. I mean, I've I've seen stuff that is, has flame to it. Mm -hmm. Um, trying to think of which ones I did. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head. I think I have had some that actually have some flame. Mm Mm-hmm. Maybe not the most spectacular flame that anyone's ever seen before, but there has been some flame in some of the stuff. The uh, the walnut that Jeff brought from Ohio the first time is technically flame walnut because it's got curl all the way down the whole length of the log. Okay. All right. So yes, I guess we've already, we've done that. You have done it to some extent. All right. Maybe an unpopular opinion, but the length of the um, reno seems to be better for us viewers. More content. <laughs> I mean, that's true. Yeah. It's also nicer for like paying for it because you can spread it over time. Yeah. That's been kind of nice. Yeah, that is true on that respect. Yes. All of that fun stuff. 
From Patrick, looking for a house and want to do some work on it. What has been your favorite and least favorite things to do on Don't your do house? Don't do it. <laughs> this, funny, this is what I didn't want. What's funny is that I told him I didn't want custom cabinets. I don't care. And Matt was like, it'll take me like a month to make. And now I feel like you're like, why did I think that? <laughs> like the, A geez, little bit. I haven't really spent that much time on the cabinets yet, to be honest. I don't know. I feel like just from the painting alone, you've spent the, a month. I mean, the painting, I underestimated that one. I did <laughs> not I did not quite fathom how long it would take to actually finish these things. Uh-huh. Like spray finishing. Oh, spray finishing so fast. It's not. <laughs> it's not fast. Yeah. There's always something to be sprayed and painted. Right. And four four coats. Yeah. So it's painting your least favorite. standing in between of everything. So do you have someone else paint it for you? If that's is that your least favorite part? If then you like take it, you can like load all this crap up and take it somewhere mm-hmm. to a spray shop. Right. And they would probably want it all at once. So you gotta store all this crap you're making somewhere as you're making it. Right. I hope you don't damage it, and then yeah. get it to them without damaging it. Okay. And then get it back without damaging it. So. It just seems like a lot of hassle. It's all of this sounds horrible. Yeah. <laughs> like all of it just, just sounds bad. Either way. So what is your least and favorite? My least what? What's your least favorite part? What's your favorite part of the home renovation? I don't, I'm, kind of, I'm enjoying the challenge of it. Mm-hmm. That's probably my favorite. Yeah. Because it's different. And because they're all custom and like uh, Chris and Leanne and Jake, they, all, they expect all these weird things. Mm-hmm. I'm like... Okay, the most random thing that no one has any documentation on, that stupid pocket door thing. <laughs> no one's got any real documentation. The instruction manual is 65 pages long. And the instruction manual is like, it's good, but it's also bad at the same time. Like, all of the information is there. But there's so much damn information. Right. You can't find what you're looking for or figure out what you're reading. Right. I'm certainly not crazy enough to do everything mastering, but maybe one or two elements like uh, custom trimmer floors. <laughs> what? <laughs> What? I don't, maybe I didn't show enough of the monotony of and work that goes into making all that stuff. Well, I mean, do you find enjoyment in making the floors maybe or the trim or which one was better? You made trim before. You made trim at our old house. Yeah, that was rough too. I made that on a router table. That was right. rough. Yeah. Um, <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't know. It's just, it's just, it's a lot. Just be ready for that. I think that people definitely glamorize it. It's a lot. It's not glamour. There's no glamour. Just a lot of sweat, tears, blood. It's, I mean, I, guess, I don't know. It's, <laughs> depends who you are, I guess. I don't, do what you want. That's it's, not his question. What was the question? What was your favorite part? Like, what would you say favorite? I thought you, you asked me something else about it. No, well, he's just saying, he's not crazy. Like, he's not going to do everything. Oh. But, like, what are one or two elements that would be, like, something that would make you less insane? Like, but enjoyable and say like, hey, I made that. Because there is some value of like walking into a house and being like, you like that trim? I made it. I like the floors because no one really can say that. Probably because no one's crazy enough to do that. Okay. To be like, I made all this flooring. You made it. Like you went out and you bought some flooring and you laid it yourself. No, 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 no. I, I milled it all and I yeah. installed it all and I sanded it all and I finished it all. That's cool. Yeah. I think that part's pretty sweet. I like that too because then he put the little butterflies in the floor for me. And I really like that. And then he did a silly face, which I don't like. Um, but like, it is kind of cool with floors if they're homemade. Cause then you can do things like that and customize them in a way that you just wouldn't if you bought it at the store. Yeah. And flooring is expensive yeah. in itself. I mean, I, if you ever make your own floor and you understand why it's so expensive, <laughs> but like you can save some money Yeah. Yeah. by doing all that work yourself, but it's just going to be a lot of work. Right. Well, you know, save money equity. as an attorney, I would say, do you value your time? Because you may, may not. So I, I think well, it's all the time, but the way, I, the way I had to put it in my mind is like money never left my pocket. Checkbook, yeah. So I saved money. Right. Yeah. Because I didn't have to spend any money. Exactly. And I would have done that in my leisure time anyway. Right. Yes. That makes sense. Uh, from Matthew, what do you think the best way to attach countertops? Uh, figure eight fasteners, Z clips, etc. As always, thank you for your advice. Your advice helped me finish the curly maple nightstand for my niece today. Oh, that's oh, nice. cool. So like tabletops? Yeah, what's the best way to attach a tabletop? There's a lot of different ways. I don't know if it's like a best way. Mm-hmm. The figure eight fasteners seem to be like the most like commonly used and like, I don't know, if you want to buy something mm-hmm. that works, that's a good way. Never use those. I've always used the like the wooden L bracket things. 
I don't know. Are those Z clips? Or is Z clips something else? They're like wooden Z clips. Okay. I've never been like, oh, I should just go buy some Z clips. I just always make my own out of wood mm -hmm. and do it that way. It doesn't really matter how you attach it as long as you allow for the movement. They all do that as long as you install them correctly. Okay. So whatever, you know, whatever, bro. Whatever you feel like using. But you, your preference is the wood Z clips. Yeah, basically, yeah. Because I'm always like, oh, crap, I forgot to buy anything for this. Oh. I'll just make them. And then like, you can make them out of scrap. You just cut a rabbit on a piece of, on a block of wood and I'll, I'll stick a wood, chop it to length and then there's your brackets. So it only takes a few minutes. Okay. It's like less things I got to buy and worry about or think about needing to buy. Right. I feel like with any project, the most frustrating thing is having to go back to the store and buy one more thing, even though you were just there. Oh, you have no idea. So, especially with home renovation. You have no idea. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that's even more. <laughs> well, I remember we made the patio. It was like, we would get back from Menards and we'd be like, oh crap, we forgot like the one thing we went there for. Kind yeah, of that's, that's, and you're like, that's what? how it goes. That's how you know yeah. you're doing it right. Yeah. If it doesn't, if that doesn't happen, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> something really wrong. Or you have like a rabbit's foot in your pocket. <laughs> there you go. That works too. <laughs> uh, from Walter, have you started what's going to happen with the pantry sunroom window? No. Not yet? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be there in at least the state that it's in right now. I thought I wasn't going to like it, uh, but I do. I like it. I think in part because the hole that Matt did have for it was like this big. It was way too big. And the big. hole was this big, really. So like, I was just like, why do we want this huge gap? And now it's just more kind of like a normal picture framed mm -hmm. like size. So it's less ridiculous. I think at some point it'd be cool to do some form of like stained glass or something. We'll see. I mean, you might want to actually see through it all the time. So yeah. So. We'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to look a lot better once the pantry's in place. And uh, that's a little further along. Oh, and uh, we did get a revision on our plans. They added more trim to the pantry because there wasn't enough trim. So <laughs> I was like, what the hell, guys? What the hell? They're like, yeah, oh, here's a new revised set of plans for him. I'm like, okay, cool. Like, yeah, we added some more pieces to trim. I'm like, oh, what? <laughs> like, why are you doing this to me? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> like, we heard you really like trim. They added two more pieces of trim to the, two Where? more styles of trim to the pantry. They added a uh, wainscot cap and a wainscot cove mold mm -hmm. under the cap mm -hmm. because you know there wasn't enough trim in the pantry already no never I, I feel like at this point there's no such thing as too much trim so <laughs> the, the pantry has as much trim as a sunroom oh wow plus cabinets yes wow that's a lot yeah i like this um from espresso maker i thought that the point of the window was to provide more stacking access to the sunroom that's what matt suggested yeah, you could you reach in there there's a countertop right beneath it so you could have stuff you could reach. Well, he was like, we should put like I a little I can't see copy. when I'm reaching. I'm too short. Your yeah, dad can see My dad fine. can see fine. We can't see. I can't see. <laughs> but my dad's like, we should put like a coffee thing. We can just grab and fill up more coffee and then bring it back. Yeah. So it is. Yeah. But yeah, it's more user friendly for someone who's, you know, much taller than us. No, so. Normal height? Normal height. Yeah. <laughs> my dad's not normal height. He's tall, but. Well, him and everybody, everybody else in the world. Yeah, probably. <laughs> not me. Uh, so from Mark, did you enjoy using Donovan C, uh, CNC and will you get one? I don't really use it. He used it. Okay. I watched. You watched. Did you have fun filming him <laughs> while using it? It was a nice throwback to the old days of me just filming him doing things. Yeah. It was kind of nice. Mm -hmm. Um, I've been wanting to get a CNC for a long time. Not so much because I have any particular use for it, just because it's a skill that I don't have. Mm -hmm. It'd be cool to be able to like have that skill of like, like when if you don't have like a when you don't have these tools like I don't know what they can do I don't know what like they how they can fit into my processes right but like once you get them you're like oh yeah I can like see like reasons to use this and do that and it's just be cool to be able to have a learning experience be like okay I can have the machine do something at the very least if I'm doing like pieces of furniture I can have it do like curve templates and things so I don't have to sit there and fair curves right all the time that's a nice little plus of having it. You had a CNC machine, though. I did have an X-Carve. It was horrible. What did you do with it? I gave it away. Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I think the newer versions are better now. But yeah. that one... The hell, oh, they had the... Uh, they ran on the X... One of the axes, he ran on belts. Mm -hmm. And the clamps of the belts would always, like, slip and come off. And if that happens, you lose all the calibration on the machine. You mm -hmm. lose whatever you're cutting. So I'm like, yeah, this is too much. Right. Messing around for me. 
Uh, from James, I just got one and found out that my PC is too old to run any of the software. <laughs> Next purchase is a new PC and a lot of learning. That's kind of frustrating, though. That would drive me. I'd be annoyed. How old I, is your computer? Well, how old? I don't know. How old? It must could, be like really old. Oh, really? Maybe. I guess. I don't know. Is your flab, slab flattener not a CNC? It is not. It's a giant router sled. Okay. Cool. Didn't know. Uh, so from Fred. Hey, Fred, if the fridge dispenses water and or ice, is it filtered in the unit or are you doing a separate under the cabinet filtration? So we don't have any because of the thingy, right? We did not order a fridge that had a water dispenser. Well, you can't. We'll see if we have one. Huh? It'll we'll be on the inside. What oh. my parents have would be how they have that. Oh, okay. But I don't think we do. We did not order a fridge with a water dispenser. That is an option on the fridge we got. That we didn't get. I'm sorry. The fridge we wanted that we didn't get is yeah. the option of having a water dispenser on the inside. Yeah. At this point, water dispenser, no water dispenser. I don't really care as <laughs> long as I fridge. have that fridge. Um, it would be run off the reverse osmosis that we have for the drinking water in the tap. Okay. Yeah, because right now we have, because we have well water, so we have a, like, Culligan runs a thing to, like, filter it or whatever. It's a reverse osmosis. Oh, is that what that is? Yes. Oh, I didn't know. That's the fancy word for it. People like me who don't know those fancy terms, I just call it a water filter. It is a water filter. I mean, it is. Yeah. Let's see. Well, now I know all the fancy terms. Uh, from James. Who is your favorite woodworker? I mean, woodworker. YouTuber and why? It doesn't have to be woodworker related. Do you watch any non-woodworker YouTubing? I don't know. I've been on YouTube as much lately watching stuff. He sits in bed watching something. What are you watching? I'm always on TikTok now. Okay. You just play on TikTok. It's better at feeding me content that I actually want to watch. Okay, so what are you watching? God, this is too fun. Home renovation. <laughs> like tradey type videos. Yeah. Electricians, plumbers. Mm -hmm. um, people like doing their house stuff. Okay. But I feel like um, with TikTok... Machinery repairs. Um, mechanics. Mm-hmm. Occasionally, some woodworking stuff comes up that I'll watch mm -hmm. on there, but I don't know. It's... Mm -hmm. That's where my life is at, I guess. Right. So, like, what makes this fridge so rare? I don't know. Me either. How the hell would I know? I feel like it's nothing special. I don't know why it's so hard to get it. That's the confusing part. <laughs> it's just a fridge. I don't know. It must have had some weird production backup thing yeah at some point they're still trying to figure that out i don't know how it works it's weird like i swear it's not a special fridge but you i mean i think it should dispense gold at this point because i'm like why can't we get it like it's weird whatever yeah so yeah no it's not something crazy it can't like do special stuff it's just makes food cold <laughs> keeps it cold <laughs> but apparently everyone else wants it too or they only make one a year i'm not sure it's a great business they have yeah they have a great business apparently <laughs> <laughs> oh it's funny so someone's talking about bitcoin you used to play with make a little bitcoin right or whatever it's called i did mining for a bit yeah way back when you used to mine in the this garage well not this one yeah i had the mining rigs outside in the yeah. shop yeah then they, it was in the winter and they heated the shop yes but you didn't do that anymore you got rid of all of it right i still have all the stuff i mean i'm sure it isn't it's not profitable to mine anymore yeah. With, at least with that hardware. Right. That was like 2017. That was a long time ago. Right. I know it was. I feel like you and Nick would do that together. Yeah, it was fun. It was like, yeah. I used to like really enjoy building PCs. That was like one of my hobbies. Right. So then I'm like, oh, building mining rigs is just building PCs. Right. So I'm like, yeah, yeah I'll, absolutely I'll build another mining rig. <laughs> Why the hell not? <laughs> uh, and it makes money just sitting there? Okay. Like even cooler. Perfect. But, yeah. Yeah. How do I do more of that? <laughs> My hobby is profitable. How cool. Yes, that's quite nice. <laughs> uh, from Jonah, I have enjoyed the home reno series. What's left to complete in the downstairs office? Uh, I got some switch plates to install. Mm -hmm. and I, have to I think it's it. A fan. And you need to pick up a fan. Yeah, I'd pick one, which is going to be impossible because I don't know what I like. So that'll be hard. Well, we need a fan for the sunroom too. So just yeah. buy two of them. Mm hmm. <laughs> and do it that way that's true just be like those are the ones that we're done make one decision put it yep. in two places mm -hmm. i think that works out pretty nicely for you i know i actually would actually i'm kind of excited i 
A lot of people are really good on Facebook Marketplace. I have not been known to dabble into it, but I have found a desk because Matt's going to build me a desk, but obviously he's kind of preoccupied right now with the kitchen. So I likely will not get a new desk until probably 2025. Is that being too generous? We'll see. It's we'll like find, he's, we'll find out. You legitimately I got a breakfast nook to make. What does that mean? That means that that takes precedence. I know, but I make it seem like that'll take an entire year on its own. I don't know. I hope not. Uh, in any case, I found a desk on um, YouTube on Facebook Marketplace that we're picking up tomorrow. So I'm like super excited because now once I have the desk, I could move in and actually start using the the new office. So I'm really excited. Oh, good moving furniture with you. Yeah, we're doing that. Actually, I have to message this guy back. It'll be enjoyable. Because he like messaged me being like, do you have someone to help you move stuff? And I was going to be like, yes. Don't worry. I promise. Who is the someone? Whoever is selling it on Facebook Marketplace. Some guy in St. Paul. Who's helping me, you mean? Yeah, you. We're yeah. dropping the kids off at my parents. And then we're going to go there <clears> and pick it up. And okay. drop it back off. And then we're going to the movies and we're going to see migration. I guess. It's a full day. It's a full day. That's at 1235. So we're doing this all oh, before man. noon. Jeez. So. Be now everyone knows our weekend plan for tomorrow. A long day. <laughs> yeah. Crap. All right. Oh, from Kyle. I just bought my first meal. It is all your fault. <laughs> Any advice <laughs> for the first cut? Uh, don't saw through your log dogs. What does that mean? The little things that hold the logs up. Did you do that? Everybody does that. So the answer is yes? It's like a rite of passage. So uh, I'll ask you again. The answer is yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's to me, like, now I got those carbide blades, you just cut right through them. Normally, like, you hit them and, like, you're done. Mm -hmm. So maybe don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. Check your dog height. Okay. Your side stop height. All right. You'll have to come back, Kyle, and tell us if you hit them or not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, and have fun. Remember to have fun. I remember the first time you turned on. That was Thanksgiving. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. Your dad was there. It was Christmas. Oh, it was Christmas. after Max was born. That's right, Max. I was just going to say Max was there. It was there. December 22nd. But then I realized that makes no sense because Max wasn't born at Christmas. Yeah. I mean, at Thanksgiving. It was a week after he was born. Yeah. From Andy. Not everyone saws all the way through. This is like partially, you know, just like a little, little nick in there. A little tap tap. Yeah. Just to see how it tastes. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, all right. From Matthew. Do you use a CAD program to design your furniture? And if so, what program do you use? Um... I use SketchUp, but I'm not good at it. And okay. I don't really want to spend a lot of time sitting on my computer. So I'll use that to get some like initial dimensions and then I kind of go from there. I don't draw joinery. Right. I don't draw like moldings. I don't draw little pieces and small details like that. Um, if you go back and watch part one of the Serpentine Chest mm -hmm. of Drawers, I show how that kind of plays out. I think right. I did that one all on paper actually. Because it's just that's just a box. Right. You just gotta know like what size is the box. And then, like, everything else is based off of the size of the box you end up making. Right. So it's kind of irrelevant yeah. to, like, draw everything out. I just feel like you think like that. I'm like having a, that's why I'm like having that. so hard. I'm having a really hard time with these cabinets. Really? Because I didn't design them. Oh, I okay. can't visualize what the heck they're supposed to be. Right. And how they're supposed to work. I was going to say, I was going to think it was the opposite. It's like, because you didn't design them, you feel like it's off your shoulders, so it's easier. But no, that's not true. It's harder. It's much, okay. much harder for me. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I can't see it. But the, that appliance garage was very challenging for me. Yeah. I couldn't. I didn't. I couldn't grasp how that pocket door was supposed to like get in there, mm -hmm. and still have a countertop in there, and still have it all covered when the door is closed because the door has to be the height of the pocket. Yep. And like it's just like it's it was a lot. It was a it was a lot. You're like I'm you, testing my brain strength. Then, when you see it, the video of it, it's like, what the hell, Matt? That's nothing. That's not that hard. What are we talking about? <laughs> right. How can you not see that? Because once it's done, it's obvious. Is it like one of those? Yeah. It, well, it's, it's like super obvious. Get this silly bird out of the. Okay, we got it for Christmas. I bought because Max. We all love puzzles, and Max really likes puzzles. So I bought this little um, puzzle that it's a little red bird is in a wooden cage. You have to get the bird out of the cage, and we still haven't been able to figure yeah. it out. But I feel like it's like that. Once we figure it out, we're going to be like that. Of course. Yeah. Of course, that's how you do it. Mm -hmm. It's also like I don't, big, I don't make cabinetry. Mm -hmm. And I don't live in a house or visit places that have this style of cabinetry. Right. So I've never seen, seen it. it in person right. either. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, well, how is all this supposed to work? <laughs> I guess we'll find out. We'll find later. out. Yes, right? 
Well, possibly. Fun. Possibly. All right. Um, where'd it go? Super nice comment from Robert. This is a very serious question, so make sure you think of the answer really well. Matt, you are so lucky. Oh, what did you do or say to convince Lindsay? You are a worthy what? partner. Convince her of what? That you are a worthy partner. Oh, I love this. He's still working on that one. <laughs> <laughs> he likes to say he tricked me into marrying him, but... <laughs> so what did you do to, to convince me to marry you? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. Certainly. I think you were just dumb and naive back then. <laughs> No, you're stuck he apparently insulted me, and I thought, that sounds fun. <laughs> Who doesn't love to be insulted? Yeah, that sounds like, yeah, that's probably what happened. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that's so I funny. Got, I got mm -hmm. lucky. Oh, I love this. Right place at the right time. I don't know. <laughs> From Timothy, happy holidays. Love what you do, especially the amount of pride you take in your work. Love Thank the you. content I watch. <laughs> I watch, regardless of what you're working on, keep it up and keep it coming. I will High five. continue to do that. <laughs> God, you're so weird. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, this is from Beer Bear, not Beer Bear. Bear, bear. <laughs> bear Meat, not Beer Meat, for dinner. Beer Meat. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, first time to bump into you guys here. Love the videos. That's nice. Oh, hello. That's it? Mm -hmm. Oh. Just thought it was Thanks nice. for stopping in. Right. I this thought is... I'd read some like nice comments because sometimes I feel like you get like, you know, a little sad about how hard the... You know, renovation is. How hard my life is. How hard your life is? Okay. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> you know. I don't I know. know. I'm kind of like, I've been doing this a long time, so. Yeah. I'm kind of used to the I... roller coaster ride of people's comments. No, I meant like, it's nice to hear nice things because you're working hard and it might feel like exhausting working on this kitchen and it feels like there's like, it's thankless work a little bit. You know? That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Right. I mean, yeah. I'm... Whatever. Uh, from Still Dennis, working. do you watch the new Yankee workshop? I never watched it when it was like a thing. Mm -hmm. I didn't watch it until, mm -hmm. I don't know, mid-2010s. Mid okay. I'd watch some, like, some of the back episodes or something. Right. But that's it. Yeah, I never watched it growing up, though. Okay. Uh, from Billy, now I'm actually to answer the question, what did you do? Question for you? Yeah. Do what? How did I, you convince me to marry you? And I always tell it, it's... It's really easy. He makes me laugh. That's what it is. Oh, that's hard. <laughs> now you're downgrading yourself. I think you're funny. That's what it is. Self-deprecating, you know? It's kind of my thing. It's kind of your thing. I don't know about that. It's kind of like my thing. Right? Mm-hmm. Um, from Leaf or Leffy, I like all the stickers that show up on the machinery. Are you maybe fed up with the people always asking how wide a machine is? Where's Brad is. Brad is upset about it. Not upset, but... He exhausted. reads the comments. He's like, oh, I'm tired of people asking you these same questions. Yeah, it was Brad's this. idea, which I think was really clever because it's like it's a NASCAR-ish thing now. Which is it? I, yeah, like NASCAR. I mean, NASCAR puts like their ads on there. But I was like, oh, this is smart because it's – why don't you sticker it up and say like here are the questions so that way if people don't want to scour and wait for a response, they just know the answer. Yeah. yeah. yeah he's, he's smart, you know? Yeah. But now, yeah, people... And also, I feel like sometimes people are like, oh, where did you get that? And it's like, he made it. I got that question a lot. I was like, That's he... why it's like on the side of the saw now. You see that all the time. Right. That's like the most common question. It's like, what saw is it? And where can you buy it? Or yeah, like, who you makes that saw? Buy it my... I make the saw. I'm like, I don't make that I made that one saw. You made two saws. I helped make a second saw. Yeah. But you're like, I made the saw. You can buy the plans. Enjoy. Yeah. Please enjoy. <laughs> That's the most important part. Mm -hmm. The enjoyment part. Yes. Um, what do you think about the VCT tiles for a workshop floor? What is that? I don't know. VCT. I guess he has zero thoughts. I don't even know what that is. Okay. VCT. Yeah. It's like a rubber floor? Is that what that is? Perhaps. You would know better than me, but I legit don't know. So, apologies. Very cool tiles. <laughs> very tiles. cool tiles. I think very <laughs> cool tiles are, it's a great idea. That's good. <laughs> It's probably something like super obvious that I'm like not even thinking about. Right. Because that's my life. From Kyle. How is the tree arboretum planting project? What and how many have you planted? It's good. Yeah? I don't, I don't have time, so it's not that good, I guess. You've planted a couple, though. Um, yeah, we're going to see if the ones I planted last year make it again. Um, I 
publish an update in June. Mm -hmm. Every year I do it. I yearly video. Every year. Like I've been doing it for so yeah, long. Yeah, every year. So like for the past <laughs> two years. <laughs> the last two years I've done a yearly update on the Arboretum. Yeah. Um, so in that video I planted some trees from Pennsylvania. We'll see if they survive. This is the second, this will be the second time trying those trees here. Right. So we'll see if they are not dead or well. I mean, it's, this is like the warmest. They're not dead yet. We're this is the warmest winter though. So we'll, we'll see how January treats them. Yeah. Actually, it's too bad we didn't plant more because I feel like this is such a mild winter. They could like get hardier so that. I don't think that really works that way, but. No, okay. Well, in my head it does. Whatever. <laughs> the walnut tree is still alive. That's all I care about. Yeah. So the answer to VCT is vinyl composition tiles. Oh, there you go. See, it was something very obvious. And what do you think about those for flooring of a workshop? I don't know. I've never had anything other than concrete, so. They sound softer than concrete. <laughs> vinyl? Right? Is it? Vinyl doesn't sound soft at all. I feel like it's, isn't it softer than concrete? Yeah, maybe a little bit, but I don't, I don't know. I don't, okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Is it tile? Sorry, I have... That's not zero. Kyle. It's James. Sorry, James. I have zero real life experience with flooring in a shop other than concrete. I suppose you just inherit the garage and you don't have to do anything. It's just like, it's the garage. Yeah, I could yeah. do like rubber mats or some other floor on top of it, but I don't. <laughs> I don't care about my back. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I just don't. Oh, totally. The concrete's easy to clean and things roll really easily on it. Yeah. I can drive this kid steering here without worrying about ripping up my expensive That's true. mats. That's true. So, I don't know. From Walter. I'm not is, the best person to ask that question, I guess. Is there anything you wish you had done differently on the pole barn? I mean, I would have been nice if I wasn't rushed to make it. That would have mm -hmm. been nice. Then I would have actually had some time to, like, yeah. think about it, maybe do something different. Mm -hmm. But for the time frame I had, one month, to plan it and order it. <laughs> and do it. I'm pretty happy with where we're at. Yeah. I mean, don't you still have to, you're going to eventually, and not like anytime soon, but it's, we bought the ones that you can then make a porch, right? I'm the, the steel siding is already cut. Right. Like you plan so it you can so remove we it. Right. Easily and not have to touch the window stuff. Yeah. Because um, I would love That's still on purchase. the to-do list. I mean, it's not like a necessity anytime soon, but like it is, yeah, you set it up like that, right? Yeah. I mean, you can do it to any building. It's just there's less prep work to start because well, you don't have to take all the paneling off. You just have to take that one little row up top off. But I mean, like you, if we didn't ever want one, you would have bought different steel. You would have bought all the way to the top, right? Yeah, and then you just take all the steel off, cut yeah. it, and put it back on. Right, but like you knew we we're going to do it someday, so you did that. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. uh, from David, I love the new sunroom. You're a perfectionist for making it all right. <laughs> it's not, but you know. It's funny because, like, well, I don't really watch your videos, but I watch, like, a little bit. And it does feel like, and I watch you, like, in real life, right? Like, I get to watch it live. When? When you watch me? I, like, walk by spying sometimes. Spying on me? I spy snooping. on you. I spy on you secretly, like, Harriet the Spy. Uh-huh. Um, and I do feel like sometimes I'm like, this look like, when I was helping you move the sink or whatever. Remember you were cutting? Oh, yes. Yeah, and I was like, sink. this is fine. And you're like, no, it is not. We did, like, five more times. And I was like, I don't know. I thought it was fine the first time. But it was not fine the first time. <laughs> It was, it's, um, not quite where I wanted it to be. Yeah. Because this new thing my body decided to start doing this year is vertigo. Yeah. So that really sucks. And I had a, uh, vertigo, whatever you want to call it, episode. I don't know what you want to call it. It was not like a vertigo. I thought you were having a heart attack. No, I meant like recently. Oh. Yeah, whatever. I had it like the week before I was supposed to spray the room. Oh yeah. Like the right. Sunday. So I was prepping, doing all the sanding, prepping, filling, and everything while I was still recovering from that vertigo. So I could only work for a few minutes before I got super dizzy. Yeah. And it's very... I didn't really show a lot of that because, yeah, I'm, you know, I'm on that platform working oh, on the yeah. ceiling line, and all of a sudden, like, you turn your head just the right way, and, and you like, get super freaking dizzy. Yeah. And you're like, let me hop down here before I can, like, actually hop down and not fall down. Yeah. So it was horrible. I got to a point with a lot of that prep work. Where I'm like, that good enough? Don't care. Like I can't, I can't. Get I can't, back up. I can't do it. I'm, I'm done. Yeah. Um, and then I still sprayed. The day I sprayed, I still had it. So that was interesting too. Yeah. So it's not quite as nice as I was hoping it would end up being. No one notices. But I only I will that. notice. And I, that's the problem. 
Because <laughs> I know where all the places, I'm like, gosh, I just, I, I skipped that. I'm like, ah, oh, crap. Yeah. It looked that good. I got a little bit of caulking. It's a little bit off. Like, God, dang. I don't notice. <laughs> I promise you. Yeah. Ugh. That's funny. It's horrible. I mean, that part is horrible, but it's funny that you think about it because truly... I spent no so knows. much time getting it to that point. But it's so good. So, like, you should just be like, and I did it. Not, it's not good enough. It's, I did it. That's the details. <laughs> it's not because I spent, like, all that time. Like, I, all, all I would, if I wasn't dizzy all the time, I'd be like, no problem. Right. Well, we're hoping that maybe he stops getting the dizziness. But, unfortunately, I, I don't feel like there's a real cure. No. It's just, you know, he loves I can get rid of the vertigo, but then I have to recover from it. Yeah. Sally, vertigo is the worst. Yes. The first time he had it was probably one of the worst awful days ever. I mean, for sure it was for him. I was, <laughs> but, I've never wished for death before. Yeah. But it was bad. I was there. It was yeah. bad. And I actually thought he was going to die. It was so bad. Like, I was like, oh my God, what, what, what's happening? I, it was, I could have died and not been surprised. It was insane. Um, would not like that to happen again. Now, the second time it happened, at least it was less severe. And it was like, oh, we know what's happening, but it's still bad. Like, oh, we know what it is. Yeah. We know how to... Reset my brain. I mean, it's kind of reset, but it's still sometimes just like lay around and make it stop. You know what I mean? Like it's not like you can, it's not as easy as it looks. Mm-hmm. Hey, monster. Um, have you seen a PT for it, for your vertigo? Yeah, we went. I went. Mm-hmm. They tried to give me vertigo. <laughs> oh, right. And then like, I, uh, I couldn't get it again. So they said, come back sometime if you ever get it again. Mm-hmm. So I should probably go back. Yeah. Do you want to say hi, Ellie? Hi. Hi. <laughs> it's over there. It's right there. Hi. Hi. She doesn't know where to look. Yeah, she doesn't. Right there. <laughs> oh, she knows, Dad. She's nose. Okay. Yeah. The nose knows. The nose knows. Who are you talking to? Oh, yeah, that's her. Um, all right, here is a really good dad joke that uh-huh. I love it. Uh, from Fred. This is the year I finally gave up eating Thanksgiving leftovers. I quit cold turkey. Oh, boy. <laughs> Mom. We have yes. more turkey this year than um, ever, I think. Yeah, I agree. Yes, Eloise? Uh, I just want you to know that when, when um, the girl that came. Yep. When, when her son, her son her wanted, her dad wanted to play Jared. That's okay. And then her son, when her, when her, it was over said the laugh, her said, What's up? What's up, baby? So Terry also gets vertigo. Get, I take air sick pills. They help me a lot. Oh, let me try that. Oh, that's good to try. I, I have those. I don't know it's called. I try, I try. What oh, those little pills are? It's with an M. Oh. I don't know. They don't. I, I don't know if they work or not. They don't make it go away. Right. So maybe they don't work, but maybe it's less worse than it would be without them. Don't know. Oh, here's another nice uh, dad joke from Fred. It sounds like vertigo put a whole new spin on things. Oh God. <laughs> it's terrible. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but you said it was a laugh, you know? Um, we're almost to the end. Is But this is really nice from Gary. It's like a baby doll. Sorry to hear about your vertigo. Can't imagine trying to work through that. Do you Thanks, want, Gary. Do you want to tell anyone a joke or anything? Uh, sorry. Okay. Sure. What do you want to tell everyone? Um, I don't know. That's okay. Did you get this necklace for Christmas? Yeah. I think that would hurt if you clip your face like that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and it's not Dramamine. Um, no. No, it starts with an M. I don't know. My sister asked too, and I had no idea what it was. Um, from um, Abram, any Bridgeport videos coming soon? Nope. Unfortunately not. Got a kitchen to build. Kitchen first. Is it like your first big thing you'll do after the kitchen? I would like that machine back. Yeah. I spent all that money on it. I'd like to kind of have it back in the shop and usable again. Where's my pony? Right here. That'd be nice. Yeah. All right. Well, obviously, Eloise is a little... Uh... Oh, this is... Yes. Okay. Did they do that thing where you lay down and turn your head? That's how you fix it, yeah. Yes, that's exactly it. Which, it was so weird because the first time he did it, like, you could tell his eyes. He was in so much pain to just go like this. And as an outsider, I was like, what is going on with his head? <laughs> because, like, you're just doing this. But, like, I mean, you would have thought they were asking him to do something, you know, some Herculean feat. Like, it was wild. You look that way and you start spinning again. Yeah. And he was just like, I can't move it. He, and he's like, I can't go back. And I'm like, really? I was like, oh no, something, something's off. This is not good. Mom. Let's actually Um. Well, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, from Michael. Hi, Matt Lindsay. First time I've caught you here on live over in Britain. Oh, that's so cool. Hello. It's Hello. late there. It is. 
From Steve, I just saw your live, yay. I just want to say congratulations on finishing the sunroom. Thank you. It is fantastic. You both must be oh. so proud and looking forward to the spring with the blossom tree. And oh, that's going to be nice. I know. That's going to be really good. It's, it's going to be, be really real nice. Good. Yep. Um, uh, and from Marty, you're going to have to drink a Coors tonight. Yes. Yes, we will. Um, <laughs> we, have we don't have any. <laughs> but I used to drink Coors in college. So um, um, I call it like lemonade beer because uh, it's light. Uh, yes, we love. Looks like baby. Um, I think that's it. It's five o'clock. We have to go. Do you want to say anything to everybody? Um, uh, Did you have a good Christmas? Yeah. What's your favorite present? Camera. The camera. And who bought you the camera? Charlie. Charlie and Sharon yeah. bought her a little digital camera. It's very cute. She's taken so many pictures. She's an excellent photographer. You're a little photographer now. I Baby. I love you. All right. Well, that's all we got. That's all you got? Yep. Anything else you want to share? No. Nope. Uh, have a... What do you want to say? Have a wonderful... <gasps> what do you say when you close doors now? Have a nice day. She does. She likes to close doors and whoever's behind it say, have a nice day. No, wh 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 no whoever is like not there every time someone's there. That's it, Rich. It's that. It's mesolazine or however you say it. <laughs> That's what he takes. Yes. That's it. All right. Well, enjoy your weekend. Enjoy New Year's. I hope everyone has fun. If there's any, like, it's too, it's too bad to see because I would have asked, like, what are your cool, like, things that you do for New Year's? Like, and people's I tradition. I hope you have a great Christmas. Oh, that's so sweet of you, Allie. Do I hope they have a good New Year's, too? I hope you have a great New Year's. Yeah. Uh-huh. I love it. So, yeah. Have you have a good New Year's and that you do something cool? Even if that cool means do nothing. Bob. That can be cool, too. Bob. I'll be working. What's up? I love you. All right. That's all you got? What? I'm going to push stop. Okay. Stop. I mean, what do you want to do? Say goodbye nicely. Oh, goodbye, everybody. Thanks for Have showing a... up and Hi, hanging bye. out with us. Oh, 329 of you. Bye. That's very cool. Yeah, it is. Bye bye. See you soon, I guess. No, one okay. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Bye. All right. We'll talk to you later. Bye.